Alright guys, welcome back to the second video of the Command Bomb YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to do a detailed, in-depth video of my whole Vietnam War collection. So start from left to right. First is a photograph I got from a Marine photo album, which I'll show later. Second will be the Born to Kill, the original Vietnam, original Full Metal Jacket. Movie poster, it's been framed. I have my M65 with the name patch, US Army. His weapon is complete with first aid pouch, two ammo pouches, his water bottle, his butt pack, and his shovel. His M16 bayonet. Up on the top shelf, I have two matching Gillette shaving cream tins from the seventies. My Budweiser beer tin. My two Pepsi bottles, one with Pepsi in it, one is just empty. My working. Transistor radio in the 70s. Sure, too. Um, so, country music and dogs, and dogs and country music. And then down the second shelf is more soldiers' issue kit and personal items. I have a US Army blood sheet. Blood sheet. Can't exactly remember what to call it now. The handbook for US forces in Vietnam. Survival cards, Southeast Asia, insect repellent weapon oil, two kinds of foot powder, second air cavalry sewing kit, can cream, then all the rations, peaches, beefsteak, canned crackers, peanut butter. I have the water, cleaning tablets. The two kinds of sun cream, prevention cream, sunburn prevention creams, all the original everything's original of the Vietnam ration pack, the marble cigarettes, Newport, and opened two Zippo lighters. The matches, all the fork, spoon, and knife, all original. Second water bottle, there, original. Your boot socks, two mess tins, one did 66, and the second one did 67. Work away down, I have two pairs of sunglasses, one dated seven, one did 72, and the other one is dated. 69 with sunglasses, both complete with sunglasses. We have two magazine boxes, the instruction manual for a helmet liner, a firefly and a knife, pocket knife for US Army pilot, pair of dust goggles, a boot label, the Light marker, original with the box. Use Marine Corps dress belt. Pocket guide to Vietnam. Use and care of your fragmentation protective body armor. Marine rifle squad book. The whistle and two maps, original. M16 rifle manual. Dressing, first aid dressing. In the bag, original packaging. The M6 second, another M16 rifle manual. M16 clean kit, all original, complete. And the M16 bipod pouch. Then you have two machetes. So they one with a really badly damaged cover. Another one with mint cover. 
And then all my books, collection, reference books. My boots, my reenacting, jungle boots, my original jungle boots, and my other pair of original black boots, all black leather boots. And up here I have my 4200 support squadron pendant flag, my US Army Special Forces. cloth thing two more pictures from Marine Corps photo album a second Vietnam poster original and framed my ERDL uniform was second pattern M55 flak, the ERDL boonie, bandolier and grenade. Over here I have another Marine Corps group photograph of my reproduction tiger stripe boonie. Down at the bottom I have my late war Vietnam war flak, my lost 66 and my backpack original with the uh, water bladder all original up on the top shelf with the second set of shelves I have my original US Army airborne helmet my model of my Cobra helicopter my unfortunately broken model of the Huey helicopter model of my US Army Lori and my second Huey helicopter model was complete. Two just Vietnam War figures, Vietnam War baseball cap, ammo tin, ammunition, dust goggles with the original box, and then the wee frame with the uh, subdued and late war US Army patches. Up on the roof, I have the Vietnam. Second Air Cavalry patch with corporal stripes in the US Army and Hall. Over here I have the Religion of the Vietnam book framed, all my Vietnam War patches framed. Down to the second shelf I have my PRC 25 with the mic on the carrying pouch. The PRC 25 manual original. Use Army Medics bag, PRC 6 with instructions, two smoke grenades and one lemon grenade. Down at the bottom I have my Vietnam War weapon. So my M17 gas mask. Another bandolier. A sec another butt pack. Pistol belt. Compass pouch and first aid pouch. Water bottle. Three ammo pouches, suspenders, and a second shovel cover. My US Army ODs shirt with pistol belt, then X Cold 45 in there. And then down below the shelf, I have my Ardo sleeping bag cover. With two dress caps, US Army Infantry Division, US Army Air Force, the US Marine Corps cap, my Airsoft Code 45. On the wall, I have my 50 star Vietnam War flag, a photo of Edward Charles Wright, which is that is his dress cap. Also, along with the dress cap, I also have the dress uniform, his flight suit, and his flight records. So it's all one long. And then I also have my US Army dress uniform, infantry division, with the garrison cap, 4th infantry division, and 2nd air cavalry. 
another yes my new paper photograph and on into this cabinet I have another grouping yes our main team on Hicks his three medals his Vietnam medal the bronze star medal box on the photos of him in Vietnam War I also have a couple just random use for me badges also to the US Army Hicks group and I have a retirement service book I have a retirement service book I have his certificate for his I have the certificate for his Bronze Star Medal And I also have his retirement certificate to the US Army. And all the hex is different photographs. Oh my, he's in the Vietnam War. And then I have the Marine Corps career planning book. With different Marine Corps photographs inside of it, and then a couple of like magazine pages cut out of a magazine and placed in here as well. That's the top shelf of that cabinet, and down to the bottom, I have the Marine Corps training depot book for Paris Island 1968 all about the Marine Corps training in Paris Island also in here I have a photograph of one of the Marines that trained in Paris Island he's in this book somewhere I don't know where though but he is in the book somewhere Then to go along the Marine Corps training book. I also have the US Army Infantry book from Fort Bragg. And all the different instructors and infantry soldiers that train there. Let's go to this side of the cabinet. I have to go along the photo. Edward Charles Wright. I have his flight suit with the patch on it. And also have his flight records. And amongst the flight records is a list of all his medals and where he got them and his service career in the US Army. On the US Army Air Force. Over here I have a photo of this exact Marine Corps dress uniform and also news of the Marines. News for the Marines. Nice Marine Corps plaque. The 3rd Marine Division plate. And that is it for the second video on my channel. So it is. So, see you in the next one. Hopefully the next video should be... Next few videos will be going into depth of detail, more items, groupings and 
stuff I have out here is not on display yet. So if you like, subscribe, and see you later.